are you um, settling into Newcastle? Yeah, it's been really good. Everyone's been welcoming at the club. Obviously, we've had a very busy pre-season, so you get to bond pretty quickly, you know, going on trips away overseas. So I think that was a good way to, to come in and, and be busy. And, and now I've had a few weeks in Newcastle and all settled in. So, yeah, enjoying it lots. Obviously, you, um, you've played under Ernie before, haven't you? Yeah, Wellington, he was um, the coach who signed me there when I was only 17. And um, now to be back with him, you know, it makes the, the move a lot easier. I know what style, you know, coach he is and, you know, the training sessions and the way he wants to play. So it's uh, made the transition easier. Is that a big reason why you came over here? It definitely made the decision easier knowing, um, you know, you could see, you know, could see the way they played last year, you know, the attacking football they played. You know, it was a, you know, easy decision sort of to come across and want to be part of um, what they're doing at Newcastle. How are you finding, um, you know, the, the other midfielders that, you, that you're working with, Dimi and... Yeah, Ronnie. obviously, they're top class players, you know, Dimi's just been to a World Cup and Ronnie, you know, his CV, you know, tells you that and, you know, Stevie and Canner, I'm learning off them as well, you know, they were a really good partnership last year, you know, all, all through the season for, for them, so, you know, they've been really successful and every game I'm learning how they play and learning to play with them and hopefully can help them out. Do you think um, coming here, um, you know, under a coach like Ernie, surrounded by players that you'll be surrounded by, will, will put you in good footing for, you know, the national team and that sort of thing for the next World Cup? Yeah, obviously that's all a goal of mine to be in the national team and I think if I'm playing at the best level I can be, then that will help me towards that. But, you know, if I just focus on club football and, you know, can play around, you know, these players and learn off them, then that's going to, you know, help me develop in the future. I guess the easy option would have been for you to stay in Wellington, to be fair. Mm. I mean, I imagine you had a, uh, what was the driving force to come in here? Was it to, to get out of your comfort zone or to, or, or to yeah? Yeah, I think so. I'd been there five years, you know, I'd, I've grown a lot when I was at Wellington, but I just thought, you know, to take that next step, I might need to change an environment and, and something new. And obviously coming over to Australia, still pretty familiar with the league and everything, but I think just a, a new environment and learning off sort of, you know, different players might have helped me. And obviously, you know, when the opportunity came up with the year they had last year, that was a, you know, a real positive thing to come over here and be a part of it. Well, I know you're going to tell me you'll fit in wherever he wants you to play, <laughs> but, but uh, do you see? So generally speaking, are you most comfortable as a six, as a six type of hold? Hul yeah, I think maybe getting the box type player. Or? Yeah, six or eight is you know my preferred position and probably where I, I feel the most comfortable. But even this preseason, you know, I was playing number ten when Ronnie and Demi were away at the start, and then I've I've played left wing as well and sort of. You know, I'll play, you know, my own game in any of those positions, but, you know, I think everyone in the midfield and, you know, up front and, and this team is very flexible and, you know, we can rotate around. So wherever, like you said, wherever I fit in, I'll, I think I'll so, I mean, do my job. So a utility value can be really good, but sometimes I imagine you'd like to have a run in, a, yeah. in one spot. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously. I think if, you know, I played uh, midfield last game and that's, you know, feel comfortable there. And, you know, it is easier if you, every week you're sort of playing the same position and then you can work on combinations with, with other players, so yeah, ideally, you know, midfield would be my position. But oh, yeah, we'll just you keep. You mentioned it that Stephen and Ben had a good partnership last, but I imagine mm. everyone. I mean, they got a little bit of credit, but everyone comes in yeah. on, a, on a clean slate too in the process, and this is where you got to make the most of those opportunities. Yeah, obviously, everyone has to earn their spot. That's any team you go to, and and coming here, that's you know, sort of a hard thing to do coming into a team that made the grand final. Mm. You know, they they haven't changed much. You know, at the moment, really, there's only a few new players, so they've got their combinations. But, um, you know, that's another job of mine is to push these players every day in training and, you know, they're going to have to earn their spot as well as me. Mate, well, how's it different from here to Wellington, mate? Uh, by, the <laughs> by the weather, I mean. Yeah, I know. January This is midsummer's mid yeah. day here. I just can't wait to jump in the ice bath after training yeah. while I'm here. But, you know, we've had some had some hot days lately and, um, you know, it makes it enjoyable. But, you know, the whole environment in Newcastle is quite similar to Wellington. You know, it's not... Yep. Not a massive city here. It's very easy to get around and get to know sort of, you know, your way around the town. And everyone's been real friendly and, you know, real supportive of the club. It seems so. You know, I'm enjoying it. In terms of this week, uh, uh, Edgeworth. I mean, I imagine mm. Ben's back training now, so I imagine he's going to be in contention. But yeah. what what do you, uh, what he's looking to get out of these last couple of games personally and sort yeah. of um, as a team, to be fair. Yeah, I think it's just continuing the development and how Ernie wants us to play. You know, every game we've sort of tried to work on little things and, you know, it's another chance to go out there and put what we've been doing in the training into, you know, a more competitive game. You know, Edgeworth uh, have had a really good season, so they'll be tough opposition for us. And, you know, it's another chance to get fitness, to get sharpness, um, you know, going into the season. And then with the game against uh, the Wanderers coming up as well, which will be a good test against the A-League opposition.